Hey, what's up? My name is Ethan, and today we're having a look at the brand new Zhiyun Crane M3 gimbal, which I will personally be pairing with my Fujifilm X-T3 and Fujifilm X-E3. The gimbal comes packaged in a nice hard foam box, uh, which can double as a nice little carrying case. In the box, you'll find a manual quick start guide, You'll find small tripod legs. You'll find a box of cables uh, for your specific camera, as well as some man magnetic light filters. You'll also find a nice, slim, and sleek quick release plate. You will find the gimbal itself, which we'll take a closer look at. And you'll find the thumb screw for the quick release plate. So as we look a little bit closer at the actual gimbal, the first thing you're gonna notice it has a unique look compared to other gimbals. It has this very nice matte white finish. To me, it has a sci-fi vibe, and that's really brought together by the uh, M3 on the side of the gimbal that lights up when you turn it on. The gimbal's very comfortable in your hand. It's easy to use with one hand operation, and it does have a nice grip on the backside, uh, which provides, uh, again, a decent amount of grip as you're using it with just one hand. The touch screen is nice and bright and responsive, although I did find it a little bit difficult to scroll, uh, especially when you're looking at the different gimbal modes. Uh, if you try to scroll, sometimes it's easy to accidentally tap one of the modes. Uh, so for me, it's easier to use the M button on the front. One really nice feature that's common on most newer gimbals is that each axis locks. Uh, so you can lock each axis, your gimbal won't be flopping around as you start to get your camera set up. Uh, you're able to kind of get your initial uh, balance going if you, if you have an idea of where your camera needs to sit on the gimbal uh, before you unlock each axis and then dial in your balance. Still on the topic of balance, another nice thing is once you power the gimbal on, uh, there is a menu option for checking your balance. Uh, this is a really great way to see if you need to make any kind of small adjustments to your balance. The included tripod legs feel a bit cheap. However, they do have nice rubber feet on the bottom. Uh, so they are helpful to stabilize your gimbal if you need to set it down. Uh, you don't have to worry about it slipping or anything like that. The gimbal is equipped with a built-in front light. Um, this is especially useful for vloggers. If you are in a, a dimly lit environment and you want to light your face and you don't mind the light being directly on your face, it can be useful. Uh, for professionals, you're likely gonna be use some, using some kind of off-camera lighting, uh, so this isn't as useful to you. But if you're in a pinch, uh, it is something that's kind of a bonus to have. The Crane M3 is equipped with seven different modes. Uh, so you have pan follow, which is uh, follows left to right, but won't tilt up and down. Uh, you have a lock mode, which keeps your camera centered wherever you had it, whether you pan or tilt, the camera will always stay facing forward. You have a follow mode, which will pan and tilt as needed. You have a go mode, which is similar to the follow mode, but it's a very quick pan. So if you wanna do kind of a whip pan, um, the go mode is helpful for that. You have a POV mode. This mode's really intriguing because it doesn't lock the horizon. So you can kind of do some uh, diagonal shots. Uh, it gives you a bit more of a um, kind of floating feel, uh, but it is really difficult to use at times. Uh, so it does take some practice to get that nailed. The next mode is Vortex that allows you to hold the gimbal kind of like a flashlight, uh, which is helpful if you need to still get a straight ahead shot, but pull your gimbal a bit lower, or if you are walking forward and want to have a different type of grip. Then finally, you have a portrait mode for all of you TikTokers out there. So I'm gonna give a final takeaway or my impressions here. Uh, I love how compact, lightweight, and sleek this gimbal is. Very small footprint, uh, but can still handle a lot. I love that it can be operated with one hand, very easy to use. For me, it's easy to set up as well, since you can lock each axis. I love that you have the ability to check the balance once you've powered it on, just to see if there's any micro adjustments you need to make. To me, it's all of the features that I need in a gimbal, nothing extra other than maybe the light, which I'll talk about in a moment, uh, but it has everything that I really need. In my limited use, the battery life has seemed to be very solid. Um, I'm still on full bars and I was using it a lot throughout the day today. It pairs really well with a lighter setup. So my uh, Fujifilm X-T3 plus my XF 23 millimeter f2 which is a very small lens uh, so it's a very lightweight setup 
this gimbal is perfect for something like that. I did struggle to get my XF 16 to 55 millimeter f2.8 lens. Uh, so that's one of Fujifilm's more professional zoom lenses. Uh, this gimbal is not really cut out for a lens that heavy, and you're gonna wanna go to something a bit bigger if you are looking to use uh, one of those professional zoom lenses. To me, the front light is a bit of a gimmick. Um, I don't see myself using it. I don't really think uh, it's there for professional use, but again, I can see it being useful if you are someone that plans to use this gimbal uh, for any kind of vlogging. And on that same note, I think in general, this gimbal is probably geared more toward casual use than it is professional use, but I do still plan to use this professionally just with a lighter setup, like I said, my X-T3 with a small prime lens, uh, something that I can easily just get some moving shots uh, and, and not have to worry about forearm pain due to some kind of big setup. I think if you're looking for a compact gimbal that has a lot of great features uh, and you're planning to run a, a lighter setup, I think this gimbal is gonna be a great fit for you. If you're looking for a heavier setup, you're probably going to look at a more professional gimbal. Uh, and if you're interested in vlogging and you plan to vlog in the dark, the included light is, uh, is a really nice feature uh, and I could see it being useful for your use case. That's everything I had to share today for the Zhiyun Crane M3 gimbal. Uh, if you're interested in any other photography or videography gear, please come along and subscribe on my YouTube channel. I plan to have more gear reviews coming up. And until we speak again, peace.